I love it. In fact, I love it so much, I'm gonna fly Vidal fucking Sassoon here to personally give you a Brazilian blowout. And when he's done, I'll give you the number of a good plumber because you just flushed your fucking career down the toilet! What's up, y'all? <laughs> you know what time it is? It's about to be that time. Why you go to hell this man wants to die? The guy is a big bitch for his sin. The guy's Irish warfare is nothing. Chitty play with a knee hit the war hand. So I speed the all right, everybody, this is your brother, El Presidente, here with another cooking with Abu Nas. And tonight, I'm going to be putting together a famous meatloaf. I got everything all set up because we're going we're gonna to try to do this quick, fast, in a hurry, you know? Sort of like the express thing, you know? So I got my ground beef. I got all the ingredients right here. And uh, it's going to get a little bit nasty. A little bit nasty over here, but it's all good because when it comes out of the oven, it's going to be crisp and clean with no caffeine. Uh, basically, my recipe as follows. Uh, we got one table, uh, well, actually one full teaspoon of salt. Throw that in as so. And got one fourth of uh, pepper because uh, that's some of the main ingredients. Normally I would be crushing some onions in it, but unfortunately I don't have that, so onion powder is a great substitute, you know? Just sprinkling in that so. All right, and that should be good. Next comes two beet eggs. Gotta beat the eggs well, like nobody's business, as you can see. And uh, throw that in there. Make sure you got a big enough pan for all of this because like I said, it's going to get kind of messy in a minute. You got to uh, give them two thirds of the milk to go in there as well. So that's going to uh, actually make it, um, how should we say, make me able to hold on to my other secret ingredient. Ritz crackers, honey wheat action. Trust me, it's going to give it a texture and a flavor like you, nobody's business. But I gotta crumple it up, you know. Yeah, this is this is the only part, and this is a good. These are the good crackers, you know. Now I know you guys uh, was with me doing my um, baked chicken video, and yeah, the request was to do some more, so I'm doing it with this, cause it's it's kind of it's kind of straightforward. But then again, the baked chicken was kind of straightforward too. But I wanted to, at the very least, show you just exactly how my process goes down with each and every meal I try to, you know, put together. Next will probably be a pasta dish, which I'm gonna straight up, uh, uh, straight up uh, rob from um, Olive Garden. <laughs> you know, cause. Damn, did I say Olive Garden? Damn, I'm already doing product placement. Scratch that. I'm <laughs> from the record. Anyway, gotta get these things crushed in real quick. And um, we're gonna be baking this at 350 degrees. I mean, you can, you know, mess around and put it at 400. You know, it's not a big, big deal. You know, it's just something I'm able to manage with 350, so uh, sometimes I like to cook and have stuff in the oven, but then I go on and do other things like playing video games or trying to put music together like you got, you know, like I got my joint in the background. All right. Oh, yeah, man, got a little few pieces left. Might as well, you know, no harm, no foul. All right. And last but not least, Last but not least, got to throw some cheddar cheese in this mother nucket, that's right. Cheddar cheese, Uncle Nas? Put it in meatloaf? Of course, young man. Why would you not want to put that in there? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And sharp cheddar cheese at that, that's right. You know? Because when it comes out the oven, yeah, you're going you gonna to take, take the delicious flavor. All right. Pretty much enough. Don't want to overdo it. All right, here we go. Now, here comes the part 
that you all been waiting for. Abu Nas getting his hands dirty. Yeah. Oh, Lord and Lord. All right, here we go. Ah, that's that. Oh, yeah, because you got to, like I said, you got to put it all together. You know, uh, do it in a manner in which your mama would be proud of you. See how I'm just, you know, standing strong, doing it professional way. But, like I said, mix it all together and mix it in real, real good. You know, so by the time we're going to get it into the pan. Ah. Now, this is the part where I'm sitting up here like, all right, this is nasty and disgusting. <laughs> But I already know what the finished product is gonna be. So I just want you to see the process of how Abu Nas is, you know, going, you know, going, uh, going in hardcore with this. And like I said, you know, this is part of, you know, get some ground beef. Part of what I'm supposed to be doing as a big boy. All right. I think that should be it. Like I said, I am pretty thorough with this, you know? And I uh, want it to come out in a way that, like I said, with all the stuff that I put in there, once it comes out, you're gonna love it. All right, now, now that everything is all put together, uh, it's time to put it into, into, the, into the pan. All right, because now you gotta shape it into a loaf. Here we go. All right, this is where Abu Nas sculpture skills come in. Yeah, baby. Uh-huh, daddy likes this. Yep. Mm. Trying to be all, yeah, I'm trying to be all, you know what I'm saying, artistic with it. Yeah, plug up some holes. <laughs> I said plug up some holes. <laughs> so, you know, Be putting together the sauce in a few seconds after I get this bad boy in the oven because uh, now it's an actual loaf. Wash my hands, but, you know, sanitize and sanitation and all that other good stuff. Yeah, my kitchen is a mess, but it's all no, it's just the president. You know, sometimes I need to, you know, make a mess in order to bring out something that's the best. So well, that's how it gets down. Okay, now, now that the loaf is looking good, got little sprinkles of the cheese there, you know, gonna uh, definitely do some, do some damage as it's cooking, cause it's gonna smell so good. So this is going in the oven. Woo, hot, 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 hot. Okay. All right, like I said, the before. Now, as it's cooking, like I said, I'm gonna be throwing in some of the sauce, but I'm gonna be making that in a few seconds, a little bit. So, we'll be right back for uh, the second part as I make the sauce and uh, get it into the get it into the meatloaf. All right, back at it again, doing the sauce, getting ready to. Make the, uh, the second ingredient to the badass sauce I'm going to be putting in. Obviously, it's ketchup, lots of mustard, you know, get old Frenchy, get Goldens and stuff, but don't get no cheap ass mustard. That's for damn sure. Not a cycle. That's not what the president subscribes. And some delicious and nutritious brown sugar. Yeah, because that's very important when you're making the sauce for the meat.
I like to top off the meatloaf while it's still cooking, you know? So by the time everything is, is well and done, and it's still got another, another 20, 20 minutes before it's completely done. But I know with this, I, I me, myself, personally, I love putting a lot of sauce on it, you know? And hopefully got enough brown sugar. But the only reason I'm doing this is that, you know, brown sugar gets clumpy when you don't use it for a while. So, you know, brown sugar, got to make it like you should have back in the day. This is how we came to play. Ah, yeah, let me taste this a little Ah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. A little teeny bit more, because I like my, I like my sauce room on the sweet side. Pause, <laughs> just like my brother, my brother Lord Callis would say. Yeah, you gotta pause that. God Council's always talking about what I'm talking about. Yeah, buddy, gotta pause. This ain't nothing like that. You know, I'm psycho. That's not how we do it. Alright, now, I'm ready to put this in. God, it has to have a tangy but sweet, uh, sweet um, uh, taste. And that's what the brown sugar does with this ketchup and mustard mix. Homemade. I mean, you can use barbecue sauce if you want, you know, but I just, you know, I just stick with this. It's really simple. And, like I said, it's kind of old school, you know what I'm saying? Alright, now. Wait a minute, no taste, because I can't not do this with haste. All right, that's, that's good. Okay, now, let's see what we're, what we're at right here. Come over here and see the, oh, look how good it's turning out. All right, got the little specks of cheese, but it's almost done. This is just going on at the top. At the top. And you're just gonna smother it. Don't do it slow but quick. And let the juices flow. And tell it how it goes. Off the top of the dough. Put in the sauce to bring it home. Oh damn. See? See how brown sugar just, just clumps up? Okay. So you put enough, the put as much as you want. You know what I'm saying? Me, I like to smother my joints. You know? Pause, just in case. Yeah, I just like to put enough of it in there. So by the time it's ready to come out the oven, it's gonna be crisp and clean with no caffeine. All right, another 20 minutes. And that bad boy is ready, so stay tuned for the reveal. When it's all said and done, be right back in a second. All right, now, let's finally get that bad boy out of the oven. Ooh, I love, love my stuff well done. Oh, oh my goodness. Ooh, look at this bad boy. Cooked to perfection. Man, oh man, I tell you, this is what you want in a meatloaf, you know? Especially when you're with your family, with your friends, with your loved ones. And uh, got me some, some spinach, some garlic mashed potatoes, and let's get the little taste test thing going. Let you see, let you see how it is on a square biz. Oh yeah, fully cooked. Look at the, look at the texture that they, that bad boy. You know, got little pieces of the of the uh, cheese in there. And I will not skip the first taste test. And be blessed. Oh, man, oh man. Presidential skills are still there. So, like I said, everybody, this is Abu Nas cooking with some uh, meatloaf, garlic mashed potatoes, and spinach for the night. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like I said, it's really, really easy to do. Like I said, get in there 45 minutes to a little bit over an hour. 
follow the recipes that uh that I present to you and you'll be like doing slam home runs each and every time. Fresh and lady too, you know? Cause the lady normally makes good better food than us, you know? Well when we get in the kitchen, we go like this, but this, 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 this. yeah, we get it going, and then she like, ooh, it's like, come on, girl, that's how we do it. So Hopefully, uh, whatever suggestions you may have for the next um, for the next meal, lay it out on me. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, let me know what your views on the comment sec uh, on the on the comment section. I know y'all gonna be clowning me, so I'm getting ready for it. But other than that, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, another cooking without Munas episode. Out there, the kitchen is hot. I gotta get out of here.